the newest daily vlog. May 13th, 2008. A lot has changed. Of course, I'm not in the same place that I used to record all my videos anymore. And I honestly don't feel like talking about it because I feel like it might be used against me in a court case that I am to appear in because of some reasons that I don't really want to go into. Not quite yet. But, uh, you know, I've been going through a lot. Uh, things have changed. I've been feeling better, but I've been going through some challenges. Um, just really just kind of going through it. Um, but things are getting better. You know, after the really big bad thing that happened to me, you know, I was pretty convinced that it only gets better from here. And even though my new job was kind of like a rough start, it still got better and better. And, um, uh, you know, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the fact that um, I finally got a job again after not having a stable income for about five months. I've been freelancing and I finally nailed a job and it's it's not really what I wanted to do, but it's what I have to do right now. Um, I'll count it as a blessing, you know, as I push forward, as I try to get to know God better. I'm still working on it. It's hard work, but I'm, I'm trying to get somewhere and, uh, I'm trying to be who I am and in becoming who I am I had to let some people go I let go of a girl that I used to, I used to consider my best friend and I don't know what it is but something came over me after that last conversation that just put such a will into me to let her go and and it's been working for me I don't really have the same emotions that I used to have for her anymore. And I feel good about that. Um, you know, I mean, there comes a time in a person's life when a person served their person for you and <laughs> all they do is hurt you after a while. And the pattern shows and sometimes we don't want to see the patterns because we, we, get emotional, we get emotional fixes off of certain people that hurt us, you know. I'm glad that I'm done with that. You know, pushing forward, I mean, I'm living in a new place. I'm just trying to rebuild right now. I haven't been able to me make music like I want to. I haven't been able to make films like I want to because I've been busy with work. And I'm thankful for that. But, you know, I'm, I kind of miss having my own place. And I kind of miss just the old lifestyle I used to live, you know. But uh, I'm hanging in there. And, uh, you know, as far as goals, I still want to finish this Christian album because I'm re it's really me trying to minister to myself because, I mean, I'm glad that, you know, I'm glad that everybody has a lot of gospel songs and, you know, I, I like people trying to, you know, get that hip-hop style in them. But, you know, a lot of times those songs just come off as like ain't nothing. Most of the time, they come off like they haven't really, like there's just nothing wrong and it's just not my reality in this walk and I continue on you know it, there's not too many people on this earth compared to the vast majority of other people on this earth that can truly say they understand how things are for me and for people that are like me V25 you know and so in that you know, I almost feel pulled to, to be a voice for that community and, and a voice for those people who are still holding on and the same way I'm holding on. And, you know, I'm, I just, I don't know, I'm trying to minister to myself because, you know, a lot of pain, and, and there's, some, I, there's something I got to find myself that's going to really unlock something from above. But I think it's something that I gotta find for myself and I gotta find my on my own. You know. Uh the church. Well I'm going to the Christian Covenant thing about purity and all that. I'm going to that and it's been really cool. I really like what they're talking about. It's something I've practiced. But you know, this is something to really make it official for me and really take it seriously because I'm I'm tired of swaying back and forth between should I go do this, should I wait and I'm done with that. Um, 
you know, I might still be considered young, but I'm not that young. And I'm at a point where I really need everything or as much things as possible to count and to have purpose in my life. If they don't have a purpose in my life, I don't need it in my life. And it's hard because some of those things you can keep in your life serve false purposes and serve false pleasures. But the truth is, is that you got to let them go. And I've done some letting go, and I've had to keep letting go. I had to keep forgetting that girl. I had to keep forgiving that church. I'm still trying to figure out is that where I want to go or not? But I'm going to pray. Um, I'm going to trust God and seriously trust Him with the issues of my life and not doubt because I don't get an answer when I want to. Um. Uh, you know, I'm at a point where all these beliefs I have and everything, I can't make everybody do what I want to do. I can't make people undo their decisions, and I can't. But I'm at a point like, if I'm going to be about it, then I'm going to be about it. If I don't want to, then I need to make up my mind and don't be about it. And I need to stop straddling the fence. Um, that's how I feel. So just working on that and I still want to lose this weight so bad I know I can I'm hiring a trainer to help me it wasn't it. No. my decision is to hire a trainer to help me reach the goal that I want to reach and it's final you know but yeah that's the update I just uh, you know it's cool we have my own bedroom it's a lot you know I get a little bit more privacy so that's cool so, this is the update daily vlog. And I'll talk to you and I'll vlog again some other time. Bye.